Summer has a way of making us forget about winter. And autumn has a way of tricking us with its beauty into thinking that it's all right to stick around. As winter's death grip starts closing all around us, we're gonna have to find our way through. And that starts with a hot bowl of stew. You're gonna need some root vegetables. Root vegetables have spent their entire life surrounded by dirt. So you're gonna have to scrub them very thoroughly. Give them some final tender moments in exchange for nourishing you. And season them with some Epsom salts. And you're gonna need some beef. Beef has spent its entire life surrounded by a cow. But cows are notoriously clean due to their all vegetable diet. So uh, you can skip this step. Chop up your beef into bite-sized pieces. I've never done this, so don't make fun of me. This is stewing beef. We're making cubes, uh, you know, like beef dice. Snake eyes. I'm gonna put some vegetable oil in. A little bit of beef broth. And we're gonna sear this. When you sear it on all sides, it creates this dark crust kind of thing. Apparently it tastes better than if you don't do that. The problem with this is I don't know what I'm doing. I think I really messed up the searing by putting in too much liquid, so I'm just gonna put in the beef broth and let this simmer on low. Great. Onion metaphor, I'm so deep. Now there's no law saying you have to saute your onions first, but it'll taste better if you do. Saute. And they said flavor doesn't have a color. Let's get these onions in here. Now we're gonna put the everything else in. Carrots are going in, potatoes going in. Salt, pepper, pepper, pepper. A bit of Dijon mustard. Shout out to Katie's mom. A lot of people put flour in to thicken it. I'm gonna see if I can get away with it. Then just let that simmer on low for two to three months. This is a good time to get your jacket from last year that you haven't worn yet and just empty out the pockets and make sure there isn't anything in there that you don't want to be carrying around with you. And if your pockets are full, it means you haven't washed your jacket since last year. So no reason to start now. Dear Erica, I'm not sure I'll have the guts to give this to you. Do you believe in ghosts? More pepper. And I'm going to add a bay leaf into this. It. I'm gonna spice it up a bit. I added in a little bit of thyme and oregano. We're getting pretty close here. So these frozen peas really just need to be warmed up. If you put them in too soon, they'll fall apart. Now you're gonna to wanna to eat your beef stew in front of a nice cozy fire. If you don't have a working fireplace, simply take some tissue paper, arrange it all flamey, turn your fan on. Now all that's left is the soothing crackling of the flames. I love eating stew with bread and butter. Some people have it on noodles, or if you just pour it right on top of a piece of bread and butter and eat it with a knife and fork. And that's basically how you get through winter, uh, especially a winter that looks like it's gonna last for four years. You suck at cooking, oh my god, you. You suck at cooking, oh my god, you. You suck at cooking, oh my god, you, you suck so much. <laughs>